Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of graphing, specifically how we can meet special graphing challenges, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So now in 5th grade, we are comfortable with the coordinate plane. Sometimes we'll get a specific challenge, like graph some points where the x-coordinate is twice the y-coordinate. Well, let's put this into a number sentence representation. So the x-coordinate is, all right, so that's going to be my equal sign. So I'm going to say x equals twice. So that means two times. And then the y-coordinate. Okay, so I'm going to say x equals two times y. And so I can represent that with just a two and then the, num the letter y right next to it. There's no need for uh, any type of representation for multiplication. So x equals 2y. Hopefully we're seeing that this is a multiplicative pattern. All right, so let's just put in some, you know, let's just put in some uh, some numbers and let's see what happens. All right, so if uh, we are going to say x equals zero, right, what would we get? Well, if x equals zero, zero equals two times what? Well, we'd have to say two times zero, okay? So we can say zero, zero would be one point. We could go ahead and graph that right there. So it goes through the origin. And I'll just go ahead and mark that down there. Now, it's probably better if we substitute in some numbers for the y rather than for the x. If we did for the x, we'll have to get some, uh, some decimals in there. So let's say y equals 1. So if I were to plug that in there, I'd say x equals 2 times 1, right? So... 2 times 1 equals 2, so let's have that point. So we've got a, an x value of 2, a y value of 1. Let's just make sure it meets the criteria. The x is twice the y, so the x2 is twice the y1, yes. Okay. So if we were to say that the y value is, let's just jump up here, 3. Then we can say x equals 2 times 3, so that's going to be 6. All right, so we can say x value of 6, y value of 3, and hopefully you see this pattern, right? We could draw a line here connecting it. This is what happens if we start with, a, with an x value, okay? If we say, you know what, I want to make an x value of 1. All right, well, look at how that works in this number sentence. We'd have to say 1 equals 2 times something. So we'd have to figure out two times what, right? And that's actually going to be a half or 0 0.5. Two halves make a whole, two halves make one, so we end up with this right here. x value of 1, y value of 0 0.5 or 1 half, which still fits on this pattern. You see we've got this line going through all of these points right here. And here's another example. Let's say the y coordinate needs to be 3 more than the x coordinate. So say y equals 3 more than, that's going to be 3 plus, and then our x. So y equals 3 plus x. So rather than a multiplicative pattern, this is an additive pattern. So let's just pick a few x values. Let's say x is going to equal 3. Right, so y equals 3 plus my x value is 3, so that's going to equal 6. So we could plot that with an x value of 3, y value of 6. That's going to be right here. Let's go ahead and plot that 3 comma 6. Right, if we want to keep it on the graph, we need to make sure our x value doesn't get too high, but let's try an x value of 5. So y equals 3 plus, remember my x, let's change that to 5. So that's simply going to equal 8. So that's going to be 5, comma 8. Now let's see what happens when, instead of a multiplicative pattern, we have an additive pattern. What happens if we make x equals 0? So y equals 3 plus my x equals 0. So it actually equals 3, so it's not starting in the origin this time. So we're going to have an x value of 0. It's going to be right on that y-axis, but it's not going to be at the origin. It's going to be at the y-value of 3. So that is what an additive pattern looks like.